Yes. No. I. <sighs> no. I. Hey guys, need me to help you decide something? Rockhoof wants me to cast a spell to turn him into a statue. The answer is no. Well, it should be I, because I wouldn't even be here to be turned into a statue if Twilight hadn't cast a spell in the first place. Whoa, I thought you were arguing over ice cream flavors. The answer is still no. Why would you want to be turned into stone? Because I'm a relic of a bygone age. I belong in a museum. Safe, preserved, untouched. I don't belong in this time. It's up to you to make that right. But there has to be a better way. Twilight, please understand. I want to be remembered as the hero I was, not the disappointment I've become. But you're not. Rock of weight! Spike, can you teach my class today? Uh, you're not really gonna turn him to stone, are you? Only because it's temporary. As soon as I think of a new solution, we'll wake Rockhoof up. I know he has more to offer the world as a pony than a statue. Did you hear that Rockhoof caught all the bees in the Everfree Forest and gave them to Zakora as a gift? Wow! Terramar said Rockhoof called down the stars and sunk the whole Hippogriff Navy! He's definitely weird, but in a fun way. You never know what's gonna happen next with him. Professor Rockhoof's best pony! Hey, class. Welcome to the Theory and Defense of Friendship. Another sub? Let me start by telling you that we don't get homework and we only do field trips. Yeah, nice try. Uh, Twilight sent me to tell you she won't be in today because she has to cast a stone sleep spell on Rockhoof. <gasps> like Discord? But why? Rockhoof isn't a bad guy. Hmm. Your instructions are to write an essay on heroism and what it means to you. No! Oh, uh, don't worry. It doesn't have to be a long essay. Maybe like this? Or on three legs? Hmm. What will give the wee birds fewer places to, uh, decorate? Professor Rockhoff, Dragon said you want to turn into stone! You do not believe it! I... I'm afraid it's true, lass. But... Pony need finish Earth's major story for class! Oh, it's sweet of you to try to get me to stay, Yona. But... I'm afraid old stories like mine aren't worth anything in this day and age. Fine! If Pony no want tell Yona's story, then Yona tell Pony's story! From class report! When Yona come to Pony school, Yona not fit in. Pony way strange, but Yona find friends! Yona meet Professor Rockhoof! Pony brave and strong as Yak! Not afraid, hero! When Yona grow up, Yona want to be just like Professor Rockhoof! Well, uh, since you went to the trouble of writing something that nice, I suppose the least I could do is tell you the rest of the story. Yona tell whole school rock of his best! Now I want to hear story! Okay, I have the spell, but will you please reconsider? Rock of? The Ursa Major tried to grab me by the gullet! And I ducked her claws. <gasps> she had me cornered, so I look at her, she looks at me. <gasps> And I say, sorry you won't be having any dinner tonight, lass. Guess you'll just have to grin and bear it. <laughs> and then I tossed her away with my shovel high into the sky. And she's been a constellation up there ever since. Or so I'm told. And that's the end of my story. One more story! One more story! No, no, thank you for listening, but it's time to say goodbye. Wait, you said there wasn't anything in this time you were good at. What about telling stories? It was just a tall tale. One that captured the hearts and imagination of every creature here. Plus, Pony Story Super Fun! <laughs> As the Princess of Friendship, I'd like to appoint you as Equestria's official Keeper of Tales. Can you do that? Eh. I, uh, that's very kind of you. 
but I still think these old bones are more suited to a museum display. You are a living record of our history. Your stories can inspire and teach generations to come. If you're a statue, that's all lost. But will I ever really belong in your world? Rockhoff Yona's friend, so Rockhoff belongs. You know, that reminds me of another story. Once there was a small yak that knew more than a great hero. Hey, don't forget the dragons in this one. Aye, there were dragons and ponies and plenty of hippogriffs, plus a changeling and a griffin.